let's think when we can say a body is electrically charged yes electrically charged could be positively charged or negatively charged now when an object become positively charged yes if that object contains excess of positive charge we know every objects contains atoms and molecules and every molecules have nucleus and it includes electrons protons and neutrons here protons are positively charged and electrons are negatively charged whenever an object loses electron we can say that the object is positively charged also when we can say an object is negatively charged that is it contains excess of electron now we can take a balloon and rub it on a towel and then bring that balloon near to a wall here is the magic without any glue balloon stick on the wall what is the reason behind this yes when we rub this balloon with a towel balloon gets negatively charged this is because there occurred charge transfer assume if the wall is neutrally charged then what will happen see when we place this balloon very close to the wall the wall attracts the balloon we know opposite charges attracts so the wall attracts the balloon the positive charges on the wall attracts negative charges in the balloon and due to this balloon stick on the wall now i have a very important question for you when we rub the balloon with a towel balloon got negatively charged why they are only getting negative charges why balloon doesn't got positive charge do you have any idea the answer to this question is explained by triboelectric series this is a series where all objects are listed according to electron transfer in this we can see human air balloon polythene and etc the objects in the upper side of this series have a tendency to become positively charged that is they have the tendency to lose the electron now see the objects in the down portion here they accepts electron to get negatively charged so i think you got the answer for my question now there is one more important thing to know whether a body is being charged we can use an instrument called a gold leaf electroscope it consists of an insulated metal rod with two gold leaves or voids at one end and a metal disc at the other end this setup is enclosed in a glass jar with the help of a tight cork with a disc placed out the jar to test a material like glass rod for electrification the object should be brought in contact with the metal disc of the gold leaf electroscope the contact should be momentary if there is no change observed in the position of gold leaves it indicates that the glass rod is uncharged or it is neutral if the gold leaf repel each other then it indicates that the glass rod is charged the amount of divergence provide a rough measure of charge on the glass rod now assuming that the glass rod is positively charged then the gold leaves now carry a positive charge now if we touch the metal disc with the silk cloth used to rub the glass rod and take it away we observe that the gold leaves fall back to the original position thus we can say that silk cloth was negatively charged on contact the opposite charges on the gold leaves and silk clothes cancel each other thus we can say that electric charges are conventionally called
positive charge and negative charge and also like charges repel each other and unlike charges attracts each other